Men don't like loud women. I, I did not want to make this video. But I had to because it's like when you see somebody else's child like licking an outlet, like it feels irresponsible to not intervene. So in 2008, when Malala Yousafzai was just 11 years old, she found her voice and she used that voice to speak out against the Taliban's campaign to end the education of girls in Pakistan. She got loud. And she would go on to serve as an international advocate for women's empowerment and for the education of girls. She got real loud. On October 19th, 2012, she's 15 years old. She's sitting on a bus. And a grown man, member of the Taliban, walks up to her, points a gun at her, and pulls the trigger. That bullet went behind her left eye and 18 inches through her neck and into her shoulder. Because as you, honey, have already established, men don't like loud women. They don't like loud women because loud women challenge the status quo and the status quo works really well for most of them. But loud women get things done. It was loud women who fought for the right to vote, for the right to have agency over their bodies, that launched the civil rights movement, that fought for equal pay for equal work, that got Title IX passed. It's loud women who said me too and that black lives mattered. It was loud women who fought for your right to sit in that chair and spew all of this ridiculous nonsense you call dating advice. But here's where what you have to say is dangerous. That I am the dad of a five-year-old little girl. And I want her to know that her voice is not a liability, that it is in fact like her single greatest asset. I want her to be loud so she can call out injustice where she sees it. I want her to be loud so that she can demand the respect she deserves when the men around her try to talk and walk over her. Girl, I want her to be loud because one in six American women is the victim of a sexual assault. And in that moment, her voice is the thing that will save her. She needs to know that she doesn't need to make herself smaller so that the men in her life are less intimidated. What she needs to be able to say is that if they don't match what she brings to the table, then there's not a seat for them. I would hope that women like you would use their voice to tell her that any relationship that's predicated on her having to pretend to be something else or change who she is, is absolutely doomed to fail. Because I'm going to use my voice to teach my son that real strength comes not from putting people down, but by lifting them up. That genuine confidence allows other people to shine. And that only weak men with fragile egos are threatened by a woman with a voice. You arrived at the wrong conclusion because you are asking the wrong questions. The question is not whether or not men like you. The question is, do you like you? And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure the answer to that question for her is yes. Please stop.